there's certainly a loss of knowledge with regards to the names of the butterflies. And that's an important first step. You know, once you tell a child what something's called and they can identify it in the field, you know, you're a step closer to them growing up as an adult that's interested in natural history. Now, not only have you been going into schools with your live specimens and talking to the children, infusing the next generation about these animals, you've also been tackling a little bit of uh, the actual nuts and bolts by planting flowers, haven't you, to attract them? Yeah. So we plant up an area and we deliberately put in plants that are going to be eaten by caterpillars and we put in plants that are a great source of nectar. Um, if people want details of the school trip, so there's the mm. website, isn't there? Munchingcaterpillars.org. Yeah, so if you want us to come into a Bristol primary school, go on that website. There's a form you can fill in, and that's what we want to do. That's our agenda. We want to get into as many primary schools in Bristol as we possibly can. Okay, well, that's munchingcaterpillars.org. If you want more details about...